Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. Today's video is brought to you by Nadula Hair. They sent me over this beautiful auburn curly wig. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look together, then just keep on watching. Girl, you're fine, not gonna lie. I just wanna make you my, 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 yeah. What you gonna do about it? All right, we're gonna start off with some unboxing. So they did send a lot of nice goodies, a bonnet and a melt band and some other things. And they also sent this silk bag to store your wig in, which is really nice. This is what the hairline looks like before any tweezing or anything. I did tweeze the hairline a little bit. This is the inside of the cap, two combs in the front, a comb in the back and adjustable straps and an adjustable elastic band as well. So I'm going to show you guys my fresh braids. So my wig is nice and flat. And I am going to put on a black wig cap. I prefer black wig caps. And this is what the wig looks like just fresh out the pack. A very pretty, vibrant color. Like, even though I'm saying it's vibrant, it's still pretty chill at the same time. Because I really do think I've tried um, a wig that is a lot more bright than this. Even though it's kind of in the same family. So I did go ahead and wash and condition this wig off camera. And this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like after it's been shampooed and conditioned, like freshly done. And what I wanna do now is start to define my side part because I knew I wanted to wear this wig as a side part. So I am using my rat tail comb to do that, more of a curved part. And I'm using that Perfect Line Grid Concealer. I forgot what shade I have, I think I have tan and I put that in my parting space. And I'm using my Shea Moisture Curl Mousse to define the curls. I ran out after I installed this wig, so I just purchased some more on Amazon. It's like a must have with all my curly wigs. Shout out to Kyra Sean for putting me on last year. And I am clumping the curls with the Felicia Leatherwood um, detangling brush. Now I can't find the regular size on Amazon anymore, but they do sell the travel size and I have that one as well. It's still, it works just as well. It's just smaller, of course. So that is how I define the curls on my wigs. And if I have time, which I did in this video, I let this air dry overnight and this is what the curls look like. Very fluffy and defined. And I really like that look with all of my curly wigs. So that's what I've been doing for the last year or so. Um, that product's really good for getting your curls together. But this wig is high in density. So it absorbs a lot of product. So keep that in mind as well. So I'm going ahead and cutting the lace. Now with a wig that is colored like this, and if your hair is not the same color like mine isn't, um, I would probably recommend doing the bald cap method because you won't have any of your edges like poking out anywhere. And with this wig, I did have a little bit of that. Um, I'm gonna be using the Eben adhesive spray in the red can. I usually use the black can, but I ran out of both of mine and at my beauty supply store, they didn't have the black. So I just picked up the red. The red works fine too. And that's, you know, how I started using this product in the first place was with the red can, but the black can has a better hold. So I'm blow drying this wig on cool. So I'm gonna take my got to be glued in the black bottle and I'm gonna use that gel to Further melt my lace, I just took a rat tail comb and smoothed it over the lace so it just melted better. And I'm gonna create a little bit of baby hairs with this wig because I feel like baby hairs look the best with curly wigs, um, but it's still, gonna, it's still gonna be pretty minimal. Okay, now I'm gonna pin my hair up so I can apply my melt band without the Velcro in the back catching onto it. And I really love the melt band. I used to just use elastic um, just an elastic band without the Velcro, but I feel like this is a lot more convenient. So I kept that on for about, actually I kept it on for a while because I had to do my makeup, so about 45 minutes. And then I'm gonna take my melt band off and start to fluff this wig. So while I fluff this wig, I'm gonna tell you guys the specs on this wig. So this is their 13 by four lace front wig. So it's a jerry curly texture and it's a reddish brown, dark auburn color. So very pretty color, perfect for this time of year. So the shortest length that they carry for this style is 14 inches and it goes all the way up to 26 inches. You can get 130% density or 150. I have 150, I believe. 
has to be 150 because it's so, so full. So um, I wanted to go with a longer length and a high density because, you know, it's fall, winter. So I thought it would be a perfect time for that. So here's the final look here. Very beautiful and fluffy. Highly recommend using that Shea Moisture Curl Mousse with this wig. So you can get defined curls if that's the look that you're going for. So Nadula Hair is a more affordable company. So if you go with a shorter length, of course, it's going to be a more affordable price. But the more inches that you add, the price will go up. So keep that in mind. I think this is very, very pretty. I did do a sunlight test for you guys, of course. And it looked pretty good outside. The only thing is I had a little bit of my own edges out. And this wig is not black like my hair. So... I didn't want to do that, but I also didn't want to do the bald cap method. So it still looks pretty cute. So this is what it looks like outside. So here's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shout out to Nadula Hair for sponsoring today's video. If you do get this wig, definitely pick up the Shea Moisture Curl Mousse and the Felicia Leatherwood brush, the travel size, so you can get the curls together and have it look fluffy and, you know, juicy like this. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to Nadula Hair again for sponsoring today's video. And shout out to you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.